Are you looking for some simple tennis fitness workouts that you can do to help you improve your strength, your fitness, your endurance, and just help you in those longer matches when you get back out on the court? Well, I've got three powerful workout ideas for you today. I'd love for you to check them out and let us know what you think of them. We're gonna do a one exercise routine. Keep it really simple, burn out your legs. It's gonna be the prisoner squat. So essentially what you're gonna do with the prisoner squat is you're gonna get into this wide base and you're gonna to try to turn your feet out like this. You don't want your feet in. You're gonna turn the feet out and then you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna clasp behind your head and you're gonna squeeze your elbows back like this and then you're gonna to start to squat down like this. This is the prisoner squat. I'd rather have you not go as deep so go in a more shallow position, but then go faster for speed. So I'm gonna bring Eric in right now, and he's gonna go ahead and do the prisoner squat routine here. Just one exercise today to burn out the legs. Go ahead and assume the position, Eric. As I said, the feet are turned out a little bit. Wide base, feet are outside the shoulders, and your knees are gonna go out over the toes, the first and second toe, and you're squeezing those shoulder blades together working on your speed now. So let's go faster, don't go as deep. That's it, I want you to bust out as many as you can in five minutes. So you're gonna count your reps in five minutes. If you get tired after a minute or two, take a short 20 second break and get right back to it again. We're doing five minutes of work. So let's see how much time you can, how many reps you can do in those five minutes. And you can take a break there, Eric. When I talk about five minutes, let's actually do it for five minutes of total time. So if you do one minute, and you take a break for 30 seconds, you've still only done one minute of work. So when you start back up again, and if you go for 30 seconds after that, then you'll have a minute 30 done. And then let's say you take a minute rest, which I don't want you to take that long, then you're still at a minute 30. So enjoy this workout. All right, in today's workout, we've got a two exercise training session. And the first exercise is gonna be a very explosive movement. One of my favorite body weight exercises that you can do to get in the best tennis shape of your life, and that's the burpee. There are many modified, ver many variations of the burpee that you can do depending on your strength levels. So make sure that you go at the pace that you can handle. There is a version where you don't jump, there's a burpee version where you do jump, and there's also a burpee version where you do a push-up. So make sure that you pick the right one for you. We'll show you all three in this workout. Max is gonna do 20 seconds of burpees. I'm gonna say time, and then he's gonna immediately jog over to his racket and do an open stance forehand hold position for the remaining minute. So 20 seconds of burpees, and then for the remainder of that minute, about 30 to 40 seconds, he will be holding that deep horse stance position of the open stance forehand. Then he's going to rest for 30 seconds and he's gonna repeat that five more times. So it's a very demanding, challenging exercise, but we wanna challenge you. If it's too much, you can always increase the rest period or you can decrease the work. You can also decrease the number of sets that you do afterwards. So you ready to go, Max? So Max is gonna go ahead and do 20 seconds of regular burpees. When he comes back and does the second set, I'm gonna have him do a couple of modified versions. All right, on your marks, get set, go. So he is not doing a push-up here. He is just simply getting down in the plank position, kicking his legs back, exploding up with his arms stretched and his, and his head looking straight ahead. This one is gonna burn. This is a tough exercise to do. And stop. So he's gonna jog over and he's just gonna simply get into an open stance position. He's gonna focus on keeping his head at contact. He can tilt a little bit that way. He's gonna really feel that horse stance. Now he's gonna hold that position for the remainder of that minute. He can work on a little bit higher finish like that. Okay, so his legs are burning from the burpees. Now they're burning from, from just holding that position. So he's gonna hold that for 10 more seconds and then he'll be done with a full minute. Five seconds left, head at contact, chin on your shoulder, and stop. All right, so now Max has 30 seconds to rest, and he's gonna do burpees again. Now this time, he's just gonna go ahead and do one burpee where he does a push-up, and then he's gonna do one burpee where he doesn't jump. Okay, so the first one is the advanced version, the second one is more of a beginning version. So I'm gonna have him start in 10 seconds, 
and I'm gonna kind of coach him through. So the first one, Max, you're gonna do a push-up. Go. Push up and jump. Push up, jump. Now this time, no push up and then no jump. And then put your arms up and then arms up. Good. And then back and stop. Now go back to do two regular ones for me, please. Jump, no push up. Good. Stop. Okay. So that was 20 seconds. He's over to his open stance forehand again, and he's going to hold that. Good. He can work on a little higher finish like that. There you go. Could even get in a wider base if he wanted to. There you go. And really sink down. Okay, go ahead and relax, Max. So, as I said, it's going to be one minute of total work, 20 seconds of burpees. The remainder time you're hurt, of time you're holding that open stance forehand position, and you're going to repeat that five total times. So that workout's going to burn your legs, but it's also going to get you help get you in the best tennis shape of your life. Today's workout, we are going to just do the horse stance. Now the horse stance is an ancient Tai Chi exercise. Now this Tai Chi is over 5,000 years old. It originated in China and a lot of Tai Chi masters know what this is all about, being able to hold this position for a length of time. So horse stance effectively means that you're going to get in a wide squatting type of base, but there are certain characteristics that need to happen when you do this that we're going to go over. Now, the reason why this is so powerful is that it's going to help you build your strong foundation. And as it relates to tennis and that the way that we teach our tennis system is that when you finish at the end of a swing on an open stance forehand, you are going to be in a wide base. If you've ever seen Djokovic or any of these guys out wide, they are down in this type of a position and they're ready to push back to the middle after they finish. So they're used to being, they're comfortable in this position. Most rec players or junior players don't have the leg strength or the foundation, so they finish in this type of a position. And this is not where you can generate the most amount of power and control. So what I want you guys to learn how to do is to learn how to be in a wide base at the end. And this, this finish right here, the tennis forehand solution hand turn finish right here, if you have a semi-western grip or if you have an eastern grip, if I, if I drop my racket, now I'm in horse stance. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding an imaginary ball. And I can actually kind of move this imaginary ball like this. All right. If I make a first move on a forehand, I'm still holding my ball right here. So you just want to get comfortable being in this type of position. So Max is going to demo it for us today. He's going to get into horse stance. He's going to hold that imaginary ball. He's going to get into a wide base. And the key, there's a couple of key elements here. I'm just going to push him forward just a little bit. All right. So he needs to feel a lot of the energy going down through the midpoint of his foot. He doesn't want to be on his toes in this position. He also wants to have his chest soft and sunken just a little bit. He also wants his shoulders relaxed. He can make this ball as big or as small as he wants it. Okay. He doesn't want his chin to be up like this. He wants it down and relaxed. Okay. So these are some of the characteristics. He also doesn't want his knees to be collapsing in. Not like this. He wants it out so that the knee is going over the second toe. All right. So there's a lot of alignment issues here that if you practice this position, you can get a lot better at your open stance forehand. Now Max is going to turn sideways now. Come on out of it. And we're going to see, show a side view. So one big thing about horse stance that a lot of tennis players don't know is that Djokovic and Federer, they do this naturally. And if you see side views, you're going to see a straight back like this. A lot of players are going to give you that, that bubble butt and that curve in the low back. Go ahead and stick your butt. Yeah. Now make this curve more the other, there you go. So you see a lot of people in that type of squatting position. Max is trying to keep a straight face, but anyway, this is the position you see, and this is not a strong position at the end. So you want to straighten out. You want to do what's called tucking the tail and essentially you're pushing your pelvis forward. So you're in this position like this and you're tucking your tail forward like this. And so this straight, it's almost it, it, this straight move right here with the alignment, this sets your body up in a, in a great position to be successful. And it doesn't matter what you do in sport, whatever sport you play, if you can learn horse stance, you're going to be a lot better off. 
That's, that's the horse stance. Go ahead and relax, Max. What I want you guys to do is get familiar with that exercise. Try it for a minute or two minutes. But then once you feel comfortable, and this is what we're going to prescribe in this workout, I want five minutes of total time in this pose. So for example, if you have to move out of the pose, if you're in here for two minutes and you have to move out and rest, then you have three more minutes of work done when it's time to go again. But five minutes should be doable after a couple weeks if you practice it. If it's too much for you, you can always come up a little bit and you can just go for two minutes. But this is really going to help you build your foundation and learn how to play tennis from this position instead of from this position. So hopefully you enjoyed the horse stance workout and let us know how it goes. If you do any or all of those three workout ideas I just gave you, you can take your tennis to the next level. And before you go today, I've got a free gift to share with you. I wanna give you a free membership to Tennis Evolution. That's right, absolutely free, no credit card re required, and you're gonna get lessons on all aspects of your training. Injury prevention, mental toughness, footwork, strategy, and technique. It's all there for you. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video and I'm going to help you get to the next level. Thanks.